Our first video is about finding the slope of a line. Now, even though I require you to take notes on all of these videos, feel free to go at, the, at whatever pace is most comfortable for you. If you've done slope before, as I would imagine you have probably several times, um, you can go as fast as you want. Now, if, if we get to a topic that's a little bit more challenging, you can always go back, you can pause the video, but just keep that in mind throughout the year as you're watching these videos. So we'll start with the slope of a line. So the slope, which we also refer to using the letter M, is going to be the change in Y over the change in X. And you might have also heard it called rise over run. So what I mean by this is if you have two points, I'm going to call this one x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. Let's say that we draw a line through them. Now in order to find the slope of this line, we are going to use the formula change in y over change in x, which we write as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So a few important things to know before we do some examples, and that's if your line goes up from left to right, we say that it has a positive slope. And you'll see that if you were to find two points on the line and calculate the slope using the formula above, the answer would always be positive. Same thing if it goes down from left to right, we say it has a negative slope. The other two types that we have are if your line is completely flat, it's a horizontal line, we say it has a slope of zero. And on the other hand, if it is a complete vertical line, we say it is undefined. You've also may, you may or may not have heard it referred to as no slope, but we are going to call it undefined in this class. So let's do a few examples. I'll do the first one for you, and then I would like you to do the other three on your own. So uh, the first one, we want to find the slope of the line that passes through the two points. For number one, our points are negative 1, negative 3, and 4, 0. I'm going to call negative 1, negative 3, x1, and, and y1, and 4, 0, x2, and y2. So now you're just going to take that, those points, plug it into your formula, and solve it out. So in the end, you will get a slope of 3 over 5. So for the next ones, I would like you to try to pause the video, solve them all on your own. If you are pretty confident about them, feel free to uh, feel free to fast forward all the way to the end and just check your answer. If you're not quite sure, I still want you to try it, but then you can at least watch what I do. So go ahead and pause now and try these three problems. So then for uh, number two, we are going to substitute in the points. I'm going to refer to the first point as x1, y1. Second point is y, x2, y2. It doesn't really matter if you want to call the first point x2, y2, and the second point x1, y1. That's also fine. So we are going to end up getting positive 18 over negative 18, which gives us a slope of negative 1. Then for number 3, you might notice something is going on here, something weird. So you are going to get 0 over negative 8, which we are just going to write as a 0 slope. And if you were to draw those two points, you would find out that they would give you a horizontal line. So then for number 4, You'll find, again, there's something weird going on, but in a slightly different way. You end up getting 2 over 0. 
In math, one of our big rules is you cannot divide by zero. So actually that's going to be an undefined slope. And you'll find if you were to draw out those points, you would get a vertical line.